everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be working on some orders. Um, I have a fabric haul for you guys and I also got a label printer. I kind of already opened it, um, but I got a label printer. So uh, I just want to show you guys what I got and then we can start working on some orders and then I think that's about it. I don't really have much planned for today. I have a few Etsy orders that don't need to go out today, but I want to get them out today or at least started and have them go out tomorrow. Um, I have some fabric orders that I have to package up as well, but that's really about it. So let's just go ahead and start this video and you guys are just going to hang out with me for today. Um, okay guys, so as you can see, I went a little crazy. That's a bolt, not a whole bolt, but... Um, I got this fabric and a whole bag from Joanne, so let me go ahead and show you guys. I got like this knit-ish fabric. I don't know. It's like cos cosplay fabric, and because it's stretchy, I'm going to be making some bell bottoms out of this print. Um, I'm actually going to be pairing it up with this print. I'm going to be making some bell bottoms out of this print. And then I also got this like velvety fabric. I thought these would look really cute. Those bell bottoms. And I'm also gonna be making bummies too, but I need to practice making bummies before I use on my nice fabric. Um, and then I got more of this fabric. I haven't made uh, the bell bottoms with this print yet, but because I have a feeling it's gonna be really popular because my donut bell bottom outfit is super popular, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna go ahead and stock up of it on this. It's only three yards, and then I have another three yards, so six yards total. But I have a feeling, fingers crossed, that these bell bottoms will sell really well. And even if they don't like sell out or I sell a lot, at least I'll still have fabric left over for next season as well. Um, let's see, so I also got this fabric, I'm really, really excited to make bell bottoms out of this print. I have like a whole animal theme going on. Um, I got this really cute fabric. I don't know what I'm going to make yet. I have an idea on what I want to make, but I am just don't know how I'm going to execute it, I guess. Um, because summer's coming up, I got some you know, stretchy knit. Joanne had knit fabric, I think 50% off or 60% off this weekend. So I got a yard of this, maybe two yards of this. I thought this would be cute for like, um, like a citrusy themed outfit. I don't know, like a, just a summery vibe kind of outfit. I also got lemons too, because summer's coming up and I just feel like, People are going to be on vacation, people are going to be going out and about, and you want your kid looking cute and fashionable, so I thought uh, some summer theme prints would look cute as well. I got this print, like tie-dye print. Um, I have another idea for this, one is too, for this one as well. This is going to be for a summer vibe kind of outfit. Then I got this print. And I also got this print as well. So I got a lot of different animal prints. Um, I know like the wild one, wild themed birthday parties are in. And because it's going to be summer and the weather's nice, people are going to be throwing like a bunch of birthday parties. Also got a big thing of Heat and Bond finally. Um, I don't know how much it typically goes for, but I got it, got it off Amazon for like 50 bucks. I've seen them before on Amazon for like $75 I want to say. So I don't know if it was on sale and I snagged it at a good time, but like look how much Heat and Bond I'll have. Like I'll be set probably for the rest of the year in Heat and Bond. Um, and then I also got another AJ Blanks order because I just keep getting those bell bottom outfit orders. So I had to restock on some blanks. And then finally, I got a thermal printer. Um, so it's, ah, let me show you, it's Munbin brand. Okay, so let me go ahead and unpack this thermal printer. It's uh, so funny because um, I was actually looking online for like an affordable printer 
for labels because I'm getting so tired of having to print out the labels, cut them out, and then tape them onto my package. It's so time consuming just doing that. So I'm trying to be time efficient, I guess, trying to um, cut my time down with certain things so I'm more productive doing other things like making samples and getting out orders. So I was actually looking into getting a thermal printer and I was looking at the Munbin brand. Uh, you know, I'm trying to budget my money as best that I can because I'm saving up for a multi-needle machine. Um, so I was like, oh, you know, I'll just tough it out and wait to get the thermal printer. I'll get it when, you know, I have like extra money to spend like that. And um, the next day, literally the next, got an email from Bun Munbin and hopefully I'm not saying their name wrong, but they sent me an email asking me if I wanted to test out their printer and give a review. And I was like, of course, I would love to um, because I was actually thinking about getting one of these. So they were nice enough to send me one out. Um, so now I have a thermal printer. So this is gonna make my job so much easier. Um, I'm really excited to set this up, but basically I unpacked the box. It came with um, an instruction manual. It came with a USB. I need to read the manual and everything. I don't know if you need this USB to like set it up. So in this little tiny box, it came with um, part of the power cord. This hooks up to this. And then I'm assuming this hooks up to your computer. So um, I'm super excited to set this up and use this today. So when I package up my orders, I can use my label printer. And then they actually sent me, I believe, a whole thing of labels. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what these look like. So I'm so grateful though that they sent this out to me. I'm so excited to test this out because this is gonna make my job so much easier. Let's see. Yep, just some um, some labels for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up a little bit later. I'm not gonna do it right now because um, I want to get started on my orders. But I will definitely set it up and be using it today. And I will be showing you guys how this printer works. So I read a lot of good reviews um, on it. So I'm excited to test it out myself and see how it works. I will leave a link down below um, if you guys are interested um, in getting one. I also have a discount code too for you guys down below. Okay, so there's only really three orders. Actually, no, I take that back. I have five or six orders that I wanna try and get out today. So I mentioned this in my last video. I got these little folders to kind of help me keep me organized for all my orders, so I have um, this already already cut and prepped, so I have the bell bottoms fabric already cut, and then I already have the onesie, and I already have the onesie that I need for that order. Um, my need it and thread Etsy, I got another or t-shirt order for that Etsy shop, so I need to make this shirt, and then I have another donut bell bottom outfit that I have to make today, so I have that one already and prepped. I'm ready to go so I just have these three orders to work on I'm gonna go ahead first though clean up all this fabric and then I'm gonna go to my serger and surge or so I don't know what do you what do you guys say when you have to use your serger do you say I'm gonna surge it or am I going to sew it I don't know but um, after I put all this fabric away I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my serger and start sewing the bell bottoms together and then I will hook up my embroidery machine and get my embroidery machine going. I don't want to try and use my serger and embroider at the same time. Um, that'd be the most efficient way to get things done, but because I'm still relatively new to doing both, using bell bottom or using my serger and embroidering on shirts, I don't like to leave my shirts unattended. I want to be like hovering right over them just in case something gets caught up or a string gets caught or something starts to mess up. I'll be right there to help stop the machine and get it back and running how it should be. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and sew the pants first together and then I will do the shirts. 
Okay guys, so this is the serger that I'm gonna be using. I got this at Walmart, uh, I wanna say about two months ago. I got it at Walmart for $1.99. Um, and it's the Brother Lock um, 1034DX, and I love this machine. I believe this machine isn't even really that expensive. Um, I sold sold four bell bottom outfits, and basically those four outfits already paid for this machine. So this machine has made it to where I have been able to expand and add totally, totally new different things to my shop, and it's already paid and it's already paid for itself. So. I love this machine and um, now I'm gonna go ahead and hop on it and get to work now. right now oh my gosh like they are so cute like, this seriously makes me want a little girl so bad but this right here just motivated me to make more of these so I'm super excited to test out all those new fabrics that I got and make like a ton of new bell bottoms I don't know what type of shirts I want to do with the bell bottoms to match so that's gonna be kind of tricky, but I figured I can go ahead and start on the bell bottoms and kind of work my way from there, trying to think of like a matching t-shirt design. I'm gonna go ahead and use my new little tool, my little knit picker, to tuck in these little loose threads. I tried, I tried doing it with a needle before and it was too tricky for me. Um, so I got this little tool. second pair um, so now all I have to do is make the shirts and then I'll be done with these two orders okay guys so like I just said I am all done with those two pairs of pants now all I have to do is get my P800 going and get that and get those two shirts um, embroidered I'm gonna go ahead and take a break it is like 12 30 right now so I'm gonna do lunch with the boys and then get back to work
Okay guys, so I'm working on one shirt. It's almost done. It just has to finish up one more word and some sprinkles. I was able to finish up one of my knit and thread tees orders. So basically what I'm gonna do right now while this shirt is still embroidering, I need to print out care instructions um, for the bell bottoms and for the embroidered shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Cricut to cut out those care cards for me. Okay guys, so I ended up running out of time. I wasn't able to set up my label printer and use it with my packages, but I still have more donut shirts and more pants to make, so I'm just gonna keep chugging along, and I'm gonna get this label printer set up tonight, and then print out the rest of my shipping labels that I need to print out to get the rest of my orders out. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just hang out with the boys for a little bit and then get back to work. Okay guys, so it's the next day. Um, it's morning time right now, my kids are still asleep. I just woke up, basically I woke up and just got right to work. I'm having my Cricut cut out more packaging um, supplies for me, I guess. Um, I'm having, I made these thank you cards yesterday to add to my packaging, so I have care cards thank you cards and then I also have social media cards too that I'm going to be including in my packaging now so I'm trying to step up my packaging game guys because you know I don't really do much for packaging um nothing too fancy so just printed out a bunch of these so I have them in stock and ready to go um I have a shirt that I need to get out today kids are up but I have a shirt that needs to go out today so I'm going to get started on that Sid, even say good morning to everybody. Say good morning. He just woke up. Say hello. You ready to eat some breakfast and get our day going? <laughs> He's still like asleep, basically. Okay, I'm gonna deal with him. Get bre breakfast started for him, and then I need to. Get started on these orders. Okay guys, so I am setting up my new label printer. Um, so this label printer is a thermal la label printer, so I don't have to use like any ink or anything for this. It just has like the special little labels. It uses heat to um, 
print out the labels. I'm gonna print out some shipping labels for my orders that need to go out today, but hopefully this isn't too hard to install. So let's see. Okay, so that was super easy. All I did was put in the USB um, that they sent, plugged it into the computer and downloaded um, the software. Now, now I'm going to go ahead and test it out. Let's see if I can actually print out a label now. Okay guys, so it took me about an hour to try and figure out this printer. It has nothing to do with the printer itself. The printer printed out fine, printed out great. Um, I had to have my husband come in and mess around with the settings. And actually, it was settings on Etsy. So, so what we had to do basically was go over to settings, open up shipping settings, and then you have like all these tabs up top. We clicked on shipping label options. And if you scroll down, um, you'll have like download preference. So I actually had it on group my labels two per page because I was printing them out onto printer paper, um, but now that I have a label printer, I needed to switch the format to a four by six label printer setting. So it had nothing to do, again, with the printer. It had to do with the setting on Etsy. So I actually need to go onto eBay as well and switch that setting. But now I should be able to print labels effortlessly. Okay guys, so here is the outfit um, that I worked on today. Um, I still have two more orders of these that I have to do, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and package this one up. I already packaged one other one up. I wanted to film my little TikTok video, so if you haven't already, go follow me on TikTok. Um, TikTok is addicting, but I totally recommend getting a TikTok to showcase like your work because that's a potential sell or a few sales or even a bunch of sales if you go viral. Okay guys, so here's my TikTok. So my label printer is all set up. It's printing perfectly. My packages are all packed up. Um, I had a really slow day because um, my other two orders don't have to go out today. So I'm going to wait to do those until tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I have a new video coming out for you guys. I'm going to be making a bunch of new baby blanket samples and bell bottom samples for my Etsy shop. So that should be the next video that comes out for you guys. Um, if you guys are interested in getting this label printer, I have a link down below with a discount code for you guys. And I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh.